ピーポーピーポーピーポーピーポーケーパーサーサーパーセーワーデイドウウェルコムトクライムタイムニュースウェアデディフェンスイスインデメッツファーストインダーティスパーピンインデニュースイスカーレイパークラシーイトゥスカールダドブルスタンダーダッエグゼスインジャメーカーファーダポーヴァーセスポリティシャンリッチピープルピープウィッダネームフェイスキャードナウダアダデイウィサーダッダレレファンアーサリティダプライムミニスターアンデムデイセダッディアゴンテクラムダウンアンデロードトラフィックアクディアメイキンシューダッディメイクアメンメンフォーダースパーセスダッアクティンライクソムサーダッサーダッサーダッサーダッサーダッサーダッサーダッサーダッサーダッサーダッサーダッサーダッサーダッサー They get their tickets, they get their warrant, they get locked up if they violate these amendments. However, people, the other day, the JLP had some sorts of conference at the national arena. So, therefore, they had their followers, their sheep, I might call them. However, when they were on the road, the same thing that the Prime Minister was talking about, it was the same thing that they were doing. The same way how the bad, bad driving, taxi driver them are acting on the road. It is the same thing that we see displayed with followers of the JLP in a some sorts of minibus, in a the JUTC big jolly bus. So people, I am going to show you two videos and then I am going to give my piece. <laughs> Now, people, who are the citizens? You know? A public, public passenger vehicle me operate, you know? taxi to be exact. You know? If me carry one extra passenger, police stop me and give me ticket fee. Look upon them, your people, and we are in danger them life. They can tap a bus and drive in a public, public space. See? And the police not here stop them and, and, and give this a driver and a ticket. You know? Because I don't have a mock on them that send him when they done, you know. You see the hypocrisy in a Jamaica, you see the f**k where I go on a Jamaica. Eh? They can't stop me and give me a ticket, but this, this is legal and can go on when they have time I go on. They have f**k where I need to stop. They need to blood clot stop. Now people, here is my disclaimer before I proceed. I know that if I speak about the PNP, them say me a JLP. So now when I speak about the JLP, their little sheep, that is a cross between sheep and people, they are going to say I am PNP. Can't win either way. However, it is not very important. I say what I want to say. Truth is truth. Right is right and wrong is wrong. And there's everything that is wrong with this. Had it been the PNP, I would have said the same thing. It shows a double standard. It shows the hypocrisy. It shows the mismanagement in the country when the leaders, they are not leading by example. Because, like them say, show me your company, I'll show you who you are. Disclaimer once again. I heard the Prime Minister come out and tell the people, listen, do not drive recklessly. However, why do you think that they did this? They did this because they know they have the backing. That backing is not set in stone. However, them just know, say, listen. Once we are go, go look upon the Prime Minister at the National Arena, poor, poor, see this? Poor, poor, see? The congregation, the flock in a green, more than likely, we're not going to get stopped. I am speaking about these minibus that you see was doing all sorts of trickery. F-U-C-K-R-Y upon the road, my mean. So therefore, they were endangering the lives of people, the passengers that they were carrying. However, people, sheep, sheep, they don't stand up. They just follow. So therefore, that is what sheeples do. The next one now with the people on top of the jolly bus, the J-U-T-C bus. Now, people, let me ask you a question. It is not as if they were hiding 
it is not as if they were not in plain sight for everybody to see. But people, again, the relevant authority, a.k.a. O.C., the poor poor, them know, them understand the unwritten. Leave them people alone, them people are my people, them people are come to me. So therefore, this bus would never get stopped. Because what I'm going to say is a JLP, RMA this, is a PNP, sorry, RMA this, the Prime Minister. Now, Mr. Prime Minister and the relevant authority, traffic enforcement, I am sure that you've got the win of this video. I am sure that you're going to address the situation which you always do. However, that is when it is too late. The hours already jump through the gate. People could have lost them life. Other persons that were going about their merry business. When these three or four minibus was acting like some J-A-C-K-A-S-S-E-S -E -S on the road, they could have injured or even made people lose them life. Some people like me say, moral of the story, the hypocrisy and also the double standard, point blank and period. Now, the next thing that is popping in the news, it is called Lawless on Law Street. I am speaking about a man affectionately known as TK or Skillibing, not the artist, a place called Southside, in your granny, Moutside, people, that was a joke. Based on the information and based on the video that I saw, there was a zone of special operation manned by members of the JDF. This man thought that it was a bright idea that he was going to remove one of the barrier or the barriers from the zone of special operation set up by Ministry of Justice, poor, poor military team. Don't know what he was smoking. Don't know what he was trying to prove. However, people, sometimes when you show and tell, it pretty much backfire. He that exalted himself shall be a beast. Pretty much is what I am trying to say. It is said that this man tried to remove the barrier. The soldier them said to him, Oi boy, where you do? Put that back. Him start for act up. Him start for act boisterous. Some sorts of altercation. People. There are two videos out there that I saw. And while I don't want to see persons lose their life. Especially if this person is not a criminal. What he did. Him pretty much instigates. Beat up him own life. Was it justified? That is for Indicom and the relevant authority to decide. However, based on the video I see and based on the information, it is said that after the altercation, him start to fling all sorts of big stone, him start to try to bad up the JDF officer and people. Remember, these soldiers, them don't have taser, them don't have button, and even if they have button, they also have some tall up, some serious piece of weaponry. Them call them A-S-S-A-U-L-T. You know what we are talking about. So therefore, I saw you bad. I saw you fool. Was this some sort of take for yourself? Ack. Because that is the only thing that I can conceive why this man will do that. And people, what was even worse? While he was doing that, while the whole thing was going on, you have the people um, a cheer him on. Now, people, the problem with a lot of these people in this garrison is that they like to facilitate F-U-C-K-R-Y. Whenever there's any sort of altercation, you can check the notice board, check the record, check the history. With any sort of JCF, JDF, and residents in any area, name any one of them, Tivoli, Trenchtown, you name it, the resident is going to lose out. More than likely, even if the soldier and poor poor wrong, and I am not saying that they are wrong in this case, but me just say, the odds are stuck vastly against thyself or thine self. So therefore, why would you do that? Why would you encourage this man 
that obviously looking some sorts of clouts. However, him get clots. When him get clots, man, I don't talk about no coffins. Him get something, something that is bad, detrimental for your health. The force, the velocity of that corn that is coming out of that rifle, more than likely is going to do surgery on your marrow, on your cranium. So therefore, that is exactly the soldier them flat him out. Moral of the story is this. Sometimes these soldiers, they are assisting. They are not always professional to deal with the crowd. So therefore, whenever you as a man, you as a woman, you as a group of people confront them, sometimes them get bummy and people. There's a law in Florida, and I know that Jamaica is not Florida. It is called stand your ground. It is called save thine self. Whenever you feel, not whenever you know, whenever you feel like your life is in danger, your life is in jeopardy, you can use D-E-A-D-L-Y force and people based on this video, based on these videos, sorry. In the come when them come, them have to just come and look and take with themselves. This one is an open and shut case. Just like this man, more than likely, is going to get closed casket at his final send-off because he pretty much gave away his life unnecessarily. Point blank and period. Moral of the story. A wise man learns from his mistake. The wiser people at the garrison will know that. Listen, this is something maybe you don't want to try at home or try upon the road. Point blank and period. Now the next thing that is popping in the news, it is called Dumb and Dumara Part 1 through 8. I am speaking about those eight brainiacs that left from Miami on a, on a cruise ship. They came to Ocherius. However, they did not come on vacation. It seems as if they came on a staycation, meaning they planned to stay in a Jamaica for some sort of extended time. And this is why. When they came to Jamaica, Ocherius, St. Anne, when they were going back to Miami on that said cruise ship, they were searched. When they were searched, the people them find 24 packages totaling 17 lakh, about 38 pounds of the Cindy Break Spear, the white stuff. Needless to say, they were arrested, they were charged, possession. Make an attempt to take her out of the country. And they are said to be a part of an international DRUGS trafficking syndicate. So therefore they are labeling them. And the truth and the fact is that Jamaica's border is like a sieve. So therefore, Paco, therefore, Juan Valdez and them from Colombia or Mexico. Them sis say, all right, we can't easily bring in things. The people them licky licky. However, people, the problem is that whenever you're leaving from any country, speaking about Jamaica in this case, and you're going to America, you have to go through stringent security checks. Those x-ray machines, they pick up stuff based on the density. So therefore, them couldn't buck the system at Jamaica. So what was going to happen? When they reach to FLA, Miami to be specific, them in a problem. Them all on for eight of them, like me say, seven American, one Jamaican. Of course, you know, probably he is a part of the mastermind. Them all on for them. And then they went to court yesterday. When they went to court, the case was delayed once again for next week, next week, Tuesday to be specific. The case file was not ready. Now people, just imagine people that live overseas, Miami, involved in a D-R-U-G-S. We can assume that they were living a decent life. We can assume that some of them are even G-A-N-G related 
have some sort of affiliation to some sort of smuggler. However, what they did not realize is that the people was going through a monkey wrench in them program, they were going to get caught. Just imagine their faces when they saw these nice facilities, O-C-A-K-A-G-L-R prison, all them dirty, all them have all sorts of chink, all them rank like P-I-S-S. -S. And them see all sorts of scrub face. If them never know or never learned before, just this one week or so or extra week that they are going to do before them go back to court to try to get any sorts of J-A-I-L time. It is going to shock them. It is going to make them rethink their decision. Right now, people are ball. Right now, people are trying to make phone call. People are trying to get them way out of this. All sorts of lawyers is going around them, trying to hustle them for millions of dollars. Because when them over-sensationalize the amount of trouble that these eight individuals are in, them are going ball. Mama, when you hear M-U-R-D-E-R-E-R, -E 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 -R, a ball, a prisoner, a smuggler, a ball, this is what it is going to sound like, point blank and period. So anyways, people, thanks once again for checking out my video. If you appreciate videos straight to the point, no sorts of beating around the bush, show your appreciation by liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. That is how YouTube promotes videos like these to like-minded, sensible persons like yourself. And last but not least, whenever you are rising in life, there's always going to be a set of vipers. A set of vipers that because of their insecurity, when they look at their ceiling, they realize it is in the cellar, in the abyss of hell. When they look at you, they see your potential. They see that your ceiling is in the stratosphere. So therefore, for them to feel as if they are up, they are going to do everything within their means to bring you down. Point blank and period.